how to solve trigonometric equations with multiple angles. For this question, we've got find the solutions of the equation sine 3x equals minus 1 over 2, where x is from 0 to 2 pi. The first step in solving these types of equations is to change the domain. Notice that we have a 3 in front of the x, and so this means we need to multiply the original domain by 3. Doing this, we're going to get 3x is going to be from 0 to 6 pi. This is going to be the new domain we're going to work from. The next step is to rearrange the equation so there's no constant in front of the trig function. Now for this question, we didn't need to rearrange anything. The third step is to find the base angle. For this, we ignore the negative and say sine of one angle is going to equal 1 on root 2. This is going to be pi on 4, and so the base angle is going to equal pi on 4. The fourth step is to identify the quadrants. This is where the negative comes in. Sine of an angle is negative in the third and in the fourth quadrants. From 0 to 2 pi in the third quadrant, the angle x is going to equal pi plus the base angle. In the fourth quadrant, the angle is going to equal 2 pi minus the base angle. And so from here we can say that the angle 3x is going to equal pi plus pi on 4, and 3x is going to equal 2 pi minus pi on 4. Now this is only when 3x is between 0 and 2 pi, but we need to go from 0 to 6 pi. And so the next time we're going to come back to the third quadrant, this is going to be 3x is equal to 3 pi plus pi on 4. And the fourth quadrant is going to be 3x is equal to 4 pi minus pi on 4. And now going around another 2 pi, in the third quadrant, 3x is going to equal 5 pi plus pi on 4. And in the fourth quadrant, this is going to equal 6 pi minus pi on 4. From here, we just solve for x. And so the first one, 3x is going to equal 5 pi on 4. This one is going to equal 7 pi on 4. This one is going to equal 13 pi on 4. This one is going to equal 15 pi on 4. This one is going to equal 21 pi on 4. And this one is going to equal 23 pi on 4. And the last step, we divide both sides by 3 to solve for x, and so we're going to get x is equal to 5 pi on 12, 7 pi on 12, 13 pi on 12, 15 pi on 12, 21 pi on 12, and 23 pi on 12. Comment and let me know if you found this video helpful.